So if you were looking for an SEO plugin that works directly inside Elementor, your choices were pretty limited until very recently. It was either Rank Math and, well, that was pretty much it. But now you have another choice, SEO Press. Both the free and the pro versions now integrate directly with Elementor, and in this first look video, I thought we could run through the various features together to see how it all works. So join me as I jump over and take a look at how everything works with SEO Press and Elementor. So if like me, you're excited to see how SEO Press and Elementor integrate together, join me as I take you through the whole process together. Now in this example, I'm going to restrict this to the SEO Press free version. So you may find that if you're running pro, there may be some differences, some different options. Like I say, I haven't tested this out. So let's just install SEO Press and start taking a look at how this all integrates together into our experience of working with a tool like Elementor. So that's now installed, we've activated it, and obviously you could go through the process of setting things up to make sure that everything is optimized as part of SEO Press. Now, I'm not gonna go through that, I just wanna see the integration between these two plugins. But if you'd like to see more about SEO Press, how to set it up, and the features it offers in both the free and the pro version, let me know in the comments section below. And if enough of you are interested, I'll take a look at creating some content specifically on SEO Press. With that being said, let's just take a look at what we have. So if we come down, we see SEO Press. Let's just go into the settings and just make sure that we've got everything configured the way we may need to and anything we may need to enable. So as you can see, if you've never used SEO Press, while Rank Math may have some additional options in its free version, they are bringing out a pro plan at some point, either later this year or early 2021. I don't know exactly when they're going to be doing it. So I am interested to see what they'll bring to the table with their pro version. But SEO Press is a very, very good SEO plugin. Even the free version gives you what most people will need to get good SEO facilities built into their site. So it's worth checking out on a site to see if this kind of matches up to what you want to use for your SEO options. Okay, so let's take a look at what we have, anything we need to kind of set up inside you, and everything looks like it's already set up for us. We don't really need to do anything. But you can see we can control titles and metas, XML and HTML sitemaps, social networks, analytics, and so on. All the things you would expect from an SEO plugin. Let's come over and let's just jump into creating a new page, is it? So we'll just come in and we'll say add new page, and we'll just name this SEO Press. So we'll just save that draft now you can see once we've installed it we've got the normal things you'd expect the titles the advanced the social redirection and so on which are normal features you would have and whenever you create a page or a post or anything like that inside wordpress you're going to see these options but like i say i'm more interested in taking a look at editing with elementor and what that has as part of it now what you can see once we open it elementor up on the left hand side we've got the seo tab which is familiar if you've ever used Rank Math, that's exactly how it's laid out. So we may well find that a lot of the options inside SEO Press are going to be very, very similar, if not practically identical to what Rank Math has. But with all these things, it's always good to have options. So let's open up the SEO tab. And as we can see, we've got your typical SEO title and description. So we could put something like SEO Press Elementor Example Test for our page title, and we could drop in a meta description inside there as well. So we just put the same thing inside there. So pretty self-explanatory exactly what's going on there. SEO advanced. So we have a few different options inside here and it's good to see these are available. So we can say we can not display the page in the search engine results, XML, HTML, sitemaps and so on. In other words, the no index. So we can set no index, no follow, no DP, which is for the open directory. Uh, do not index images for this page, which can be useful if you don't want these to be filtered by Google and shown as results and so on. And we've got do not display a cached link to the image search results. We have options inside there. And depending upon how you set a specific page up, you can control those options. And it's nice to see they are just simply switches. If you want to use a canonical URL, you can drop that inside there. So the SEO advanced options, nice to see we have all those key basic tools inside there as well. SEO social, and this is where we can come in and we can fine tune obviously how this page is going to be output if you share this on social media, specifically Facebook usually and Twitter. So we can control things like the title, the description, the thumbnail you may want to use, and we're going to get a preview underneath. And the same goes for Twitter. So it's good to see those are inside there. So let's give this a test run to see exactly how it all displays. And we'll choose an image from inside here. 
I'm not too bothered what's going to be. We'll choose this one. And I'm assuming we'd have to sort of publish this page to get this option to update on this. Let's just hit publish and see if that refreshes the page. Unfortunately not. So I'm not too sure what's going on there. But we should have a preview of how this looks. And you can see even without the image being displayed, we can get an idea of what this would look like if we shared this particular page or post on social media. And the same kind of goes underneath then for the Twitter option. So let's just do the same thing inside there. We'll choose a different image this time. Choose this one, insert that. And again, we're not seeing those updating this. So that's a little disappointing. Maybe that's a bug. Maybe that's just the version of Elementor I'm running. Could be a million and one different things. But let's just update that. Let's refresh this page so we can just get everything loaded in fresh and see if that changes that. So come back into our SEO social and there we go. We can see it. So a little disappointing that it's not just automatically displaying. Maybe that's just in the do with my setup and maybe that should work that way. I don't really know. But as you can see, we can at least get a preview of what that's going to look like with the information that we've placed inside there. So I like that option. That's pretty cool as long as it all works the way you'd expect. Next up, we have SEO redirection. And do we want to enable redirection? And what type of redirection do we want? So we've got all the normal things, 301, 302, 307, 410, and 451s. So again, pretty cool. We can do that. So if we want to redirect this, we can set that to be yes. We can choose the type of URL to a redirection so if this is something that is a moved permanently you can choose that and then you can drop in the new url that you want to do and i'm assuming that if we started typing unfortunately not it doesn't look like it automatically fills out the the new url which is a little disappointing but maybe that's something they can update because i know this is the first version of this and there are more features due to come to this I'll link the blog post on the SEO Press site so you can see the information that I'm kind of working from. But it's not the end of the world. It would be nice if that pre-filled out, but you know we can live with that limitation. Let's just take off that redirection. And the final option we have is the SEO content analysis, which is where we can drop in the keyword or key phrase that we want to use. So for example, if we did SEO Press, we've set that. We can hit update on there, and that will then use that as the target keyword. So. It is very, very similar to what you have as part of Rank Math. So it's pretty cool. There's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. And we should find that if we come out of this and go back into the normal page, that all that information should be inserted in your automatically for us. So if we go to social, for example, you can see everything we set up inside the Elemental Editor itself, inside the SEO panel, is also transitioned over to this section as well, including any redirections, any social setup, any advanced options, so the things like the no follow, no index, and so on, and the title set is. So everything is transferred between the two, so that's pretty cool. And again, you can see our target keyword is set up inside there, so we can then just fine tune and tweak our content to make sure everything is up to par to get good SEO results. So that's pretty much what we have with this integration between SEO Press, the free version, and Elemental. So it's good to see this is integrated, and I hope this is something that more SEO plugins will start to do, not specifically just with a tool like Elemental. It would be great to see this inside Brizzy, inside Divi, inside any of the page builders that we utilize, just to make the whole process of working inside that especially if you are the kind of content creator that likes to use Elemental or any of these page builders when creating posts and pages. So you get the design aesthetic alongside the flexibility of having integrated SEO options that just save you to in and fro in back and forth between the different sections. Anything that streamlines the process is a good thing in my books. Well, basically, that's what I wanted to take you through today with me. Is this my first look at the SEO Press integration into Elementor? Let me know your comments, questions, and feedback in the comment section below. And if this is a plugin that you would consider using for your SEO, I'd love to get your feedback. As always, all of the applicable links are in the description below. My name's been Paul C. This has been WP Tuts, and until next time, take care. Okay, let's just test this for focus now. Just make sure the focus is all in focus and the focus is all focused like a focusing thing should be focused on a focusing day when it's focused. And if not, it won't be focused anymore. So we'll just have to test out the focus to see if the focus is on focus and the focus is focused and the focus is not focused. If it's not focused, it's out of focus, it's blurred.